Welcome back to another NFL offseason video and to start off this video among a couple topics I'll be talking about is the Cowboys and Dak Prescott have a mutual understanding of his contract situation with no offers from Dallas despite him being in a contract year and owner Jerry Jones said we are where we are locked and loaded for next year so this is basically saying that they're not really engaged in contract extension talks and they're comfortable where they're at for both sides going into next season. In, and this is also very much so leaving the door open for Dak Prescott testing unrestricted free agency after this season in 2025 and also it shows that the Cowboys are very much so not committed to Dak Prescott as their franchise quarterback just like it might be the case with Mike McCarthy at coach they're gonna have to see it this year because once again another disappointing playoff exit this time to the Green Bay Packers they were a touchdown favorite at home Home in the playoffs after winning so many games in the row at home and they blew it so basically they're so uncommitted to Dak Prescott that they could let him hit free agency and say he hits free agency at year's end and he signs with a new team a lucrative contract the Cowboys will still be on the hook for over 40 million dollars in dead money it would actually be around 59 million in dead money that they would basically have committed to Dak Prescott even though he wouldn't even be on their active roster but because he could hit unrestricted free agency after this season, there would be some leverage for them to get a deal done with Dak, but the fact that they aren't in negotiations and there's no contract offers on the table could be hinting that the Cowboys want him to prove it this year or else they would let him hit free agency. Speaking of dead money, the Broncos have a lot of that with Russell Wilson this year, and at the coaches and GM meetings in Orlando, Florida, Sean Payton was asked if cutting Russell Wilson was difficult knowing the dead cap consequences, and he just said no. So straight up, Sean Payton sounds like he's ready to move on from Russell Wilson. As Adam Schefter said today on the Pat McAfee show, he wasn't the one that traded all those assets for Russ. He wasn't the one that paid Russ, so he wants to get his own quarterback, whether that's a transaction or or through the draft, Sean Payton feels like he could develop someone long-term in Denver and is ready for that fresh start. The Rams signed former All-Pro cornerback Tredavious White. He's been banged up with injuries a couple years ago, but he's still very talented. The Bills just released him among a bunch of other moves they made to get under the cap. Subscribe if you like these videos. That's what's going on in the NFL world.